Today we are siping these NDT tires. Um, so we're going to be using the Quick Cut. Um, I got this on eBay for like 30 bucks. It's used, but it's in good shape. It's got two blades. Uh, they're like 5 sixteenths of uh, protrusion there, so that's how deep they'll cut. And you can space them out different spacings and add more blades. I found two is about all you can push without really wearing out your wrist um, and I'm using chain wax on the plate because otherwise it really grips on the rubber so we've got two two grooves uh, with about a half inch in between them and they're about five sixteenths deep and we're doing that on each lug so it takes forever and it's tiring but it's winter and I got nothing else to do so let's uh, show you how it's done I've never done this before so it might not do anything and I might be doing it wrong, but whatever. A couple tips I have just from the little experience I have doing this. Uh, we said about the lubricant, you definitely need something. Um, to help it slide. These are new tires. Um, I don't know if old tires would make a difference, but uh, this plastic on here really, I mean, it, it won't move. So it really makes it harder, seem harder than it actually is. So new blades, some sort of lube, um, cutting off anything that's going to catch on the plate. Um, and also keeping a clean tire. If, you have, if you're doing this to use tires, I would wash them or at least brush them off first because um, this was used and you can see it's scratched up. So that makes it If anything gets in between the plate and the tire, um, the, it tends to want to rise up off the, the surface of the tire. Also, you got to watch. When I first started doing it, I didn't realize I was kind of, you know, it's like using a, a joiner. If your board's not down flat, it's not going to give a straight cut. So this notch shows you that. So you got to keep that notch down flat because they want to rise up out. So you got to keep down pressure on there as well. So other than that, I mean, it's pretty simple. You're just slicing rubber. You could do this with a box cutter or utility knife too, but um, this kind of keeps them relatively straight, straighter than I could have done by hand and evenly spaced. So um, I might go back through and add another one in the middle or maybe one closer to the edge if I think it works but needs a little more. So, I don't know. I'll try to do an update with results after I've put some miles on them. Well, this tire is done. Um, you see, I don't know if you can really see them in the video. But uh, they're there. So, like I said, it, you can sort of see it. I mean, they're, they're very thin cuts, just the width of a blade. But um, this is a brand new tire. It's my spare tire. It hasn't been driven at all yet. So. It's actually kind of annoying these little nubs would catch on the tool so you almost have to kind of slice them off but it just makes it a little easier it takes about 20 30 minutes per tire uh, for me like i said it's pushes pretty hard this tire was out in the garage so it's cold i don't know if on a nice warm day it would cut easier also keeping the blades sharp these are brand new blades it makes a big difference when you switch uh, to a fresh blade so that's all I'm doing for now. I've seen some people grooving their tires. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool and probably helps. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm just going to go with, with this for now and see if I get any uh, any results. And we'll kind of keep an eye on how it wears too. If it does anything weird or picks up little stones in there, uh, we'll kind of do updates as we go. So well, that's all I got for now. Talk to you later.